Now, tonight, Boris Johnson and Jeremy Corbyn will face each other in their first major clash of the campaign. But how will they try to convey their key messages to win over pressure swing voters? Well, here to discuss this is Stephen Lynch, who's former press advisor to the Conservative Party and also to Saj Sajid Javid's leadership campaign, and Theo Bertram, a former advisor to Tony Blair and Gordon Brown. Thank you both very much indeed for coming in. So from our point of view in the Sajid campaign, it was about helping him to articulate his positions at, in the most clear and authentic way and linking that with his backstory. So making the backstory the front story. And just finally on this, the feedback that we got after the debate from non-conservative supporters and non-political observers was that Sajid came across as sincere and quite likeable chiefly because he wasn't interrupting the other candidates <laughs> and he wasn't talking over the moderator as well. Yeah. So that would be one piece of advice I would give that to anybody. Give. And Stephen, how important do you think these debates are in terms of shifting opinion? I think they can be tremendously important. So the BBC debate in 2017, the seven-way debates, um, they, so there were seven million people watching that. And we've seen in the past in the US and over here in the UK how people can change the narrative, how people can get a surge of momentum from, from these debates. Nick Clegg is probably the best example in 2010. He, he probably had a lot of time to, uh, to prepare for the debates. This is the other thing, the other point that's worth mentioning. Uh, the incumbent is at a slight disadvantage here because Boris Johnson has had to be Prime Minister, he's had to get on with running the country. When you're in opposition, I would hazard a guess that you have slightly more time on your hands to prepare. And even though the two men are familiar with each other, you can, you can prepare to be much more combative and punchy to attack the government's record. So I, I, I will expect Corbyn to be pursuing Boris along the lines of NHS privatisation, the US trade deal with Donald Trump, uh, and the record of austerity as well. Just a quick one about this, the spin room, Theo, because that's become almost as important as the debate, chewing over it. Yeah, I can remember when we were preparing in 2010, um, and I was working very closely on the leadership campaigns. We have Peter Maddelson and Alistair Campbell and Douglas Alexander in the spin room, ready to go out and start literally shouting at journalists and across the room at George Osborne. And uh, it was not a pretty sight, and it's not something that you ever ever want kind of viewers to see directly. But you know, each we each week, each time we did the leadership debate, they would go out earlier and earlier. So the first leadership debate, everyone waited till the very end, and then all of the journalists and the, and the politicians came together. By the third leadership debate, we were going out 20 minutes before the thing had even finished to say, this is what the big story is, this is where uh, Cameron has tripped up, this is what Clegg failed to answer. So the spin room is you know, a lot of spin um, and not a huge amount of substance. I think it does matter because it, it does help tell the story of what the evening is. Now, I think in 2010, that story was Clegg, and it was pretty hard to get round. I'm going to have to stop you but there, Theo. We're running out of time. Fascinating stuff. Theo Bertram, Stephen Lynch, thank you both very much. Thank you.